And then if we, if we look at cork, so cork like wine bottle corks. Uh, here's Robert Hooke's drawing of, of cork from that book that I showed you and talked to you about. And you can see Robert Hooke has two, two images of different cross sections on perpendicular faces here. And in this section, the, the cells look kind of like little squares, little rectangles. And here they look kind of like little circles. And these are our SEM pictures taken many years later. And we obviously have a higher resolution with the SEM. And you can see this uh, section here corresponds to that one there with the more or less square cells. And this one here corresponds to this section here. So we have a higher resolution, but Hooke had the right kind of general idea about the cork cells. And one of the interesting things about cork is it has a Poisson's ratio in a particular loading direction of zero. So if you, th if you think of the cork cell, this is sort of a schematic of the cell. And you see how the, the cork cells have these little kind of corrugations in the walls here. The walls aren't straight. So that's what these little corrugations here correspond to. Okay, so if I sliced it that way, I get the box. If I slice it that way, I get the sort of circles or the hexagonal, hexagons. And so you can kind of think of if you had a bellows, like an accordion or, or a concertina, as you pull the thing open and close, it's not really getting any wider or skinnier that way on. It sort of just stays the same dimension. And the cork cells basically are doing the same thing. And we did some little experiments in a deformation stage in the SEM where we took a piece of cork. So here's our cork here. And you see this little tear here. It's the same as that tear over there. So here we have the piece of cork unloaded. And you can see all the little corrugations. And in this slide here, we pulled from left to right on the piece of cork. And you can see how the corrugations have been pulled straight. And essentially, that gives rise to the zero Poisson's ratio. So that's one of the things that makes it easy to get, easier to get the cork into the wine bottle, is that it's got this zero Poisson's ratio. So um, yeah. sorry, ah, let, me, let me do this and get rid of this. There we go. Um, so these cellular materials can have some very unusual values. They can have values of 1, values less than 1, values of 0. And it all arises because of the uh, cellular structure. So let me just write down uh, some of that. 